How are you all doing, Ralph here, Ralph with Customs. Um, I mean, this morning, to get our mix on its wheels and progress on with a couple of other little jobs for a minute, like diverse for a day or so, but we've encountered a problem. Let's have a look. <laughs> Okay, so we've come to fit the back wheel and the problem is the back wheel ain't quite right for the swing arm and the caliper's not quite right for the swing arm. I'm hoping the caliper's right for the wheel and the disc. I might need to put a disc on and have a look, but we need to make some spaces and some adapters. There's an issue with the bearing, this end. It's got a sleeve in it to reduce it down. It's got an inch bearing in the wheel and this is three quarters spindle. It's got a sleeve in, but it's not secured. It's come out and I've tried to put that through. So that won't do. And that's fugly. So we need to remedy the sleeve issue and make that nice looking, I reckon. So I think I'll strip it down and show you um, what the plan is that's an insert it's really nice that's properly done adapter down to 19 mil whoever thought that out well in fact it's got a engraving in it i think it's a, a standard part but there ain't one on the other side so we need to make one and we need to make a nice spacer and we need to make a nice spacer for that and we need to try the disc on before we do that i think to make sure the disc lines up etc etc so here we go welcome to my world this was this morning was get that on its wheels look back end in like it is now get the hoist on it pick it up put the front end in get some blocks of wood under it take some nice photos crack on with something else <laughs> welcome to my world <laughs> so we've we've fitted a disc fitted mixed this to the wheel I ain't got any bolts i've had to rob a bolt off something because i don't carry imperial fasteners and we've got this together and I don't know if the camera will pick it up. It won't. I can't get in to show you. Hold on. I can. The gap here is smaller than the gap there. So the caliper's not sitting in the middle. It needs to go that way some. Now, fortunately, I think we can machine this down. I was going to use that as a pattern to work out this one and the adapter that needs to be replaced. Where is it? I've lost it that that needs to be a top out and pretty on the outside and that needs to be smaller by the length of the top out from the shoulder out and i'd work this out to six mil but it's going to be more than that now because we need to machine that down i'm going to take it out set it up on the bench and have a measure of the gap and see how much that needs to go that way hopefully i can machine it off there if not i'll have to machine it off here i'll have to get in the miller machine and machine it off there, which is uh, not just dropping the spindle in and wheeling it over to the fucking side of the workshop, Ralph, is it? I need a coffee now. I'll work all the fucking maths out. Bear with. Oh, there's a fucking stroke of luck. I can't really show you, but we're looking at the gap between that and the disc and that back edge there that I can't film very well. That back edge there and the disc. So I've... Got it set up with some uh, nine tip by three quarter bar through because I ain't got a spindle. And we've checked the depth and we're 8.8 .8 to the edge of the casting and we've done the same with this side. And we're 8.8 .8 to the edge of the casting. So that's one crisis averted. That'll do just as it is. Now I know I need to make a six mil spacer and then I need to make one of them, which I'll show you in a minute. And then I need to make a spacer from that one of them to the side of the swing arm and then everyone should be fucking in the pool and everyone should be cool are we cool is everybody cool right we need to cut a chunk of material to make two parallel spaces uh, i'll show you what i mean i've not had me coffee i've dived straight in this is the 
this is what goes in the bearing on the wheel so that the spindle fits through because it's a 25 mil bearing or inch bearing or whatever. I've not measured it actually. 24.8, so 25 mil in the wheel. That's an adapter, but there's nothing to stop it fucking off inwards. The other side's done lovely. It's got numbers engraved on it that don't seem to pertain to any sizes, so I don't know what that means. But I'm going to copy that out of that, basically, for the other side, for the drive side. And this is the space for the drive side, so we'll take the thickness from this edge, where it is to bear into there, off that, yeah, and make a parallel one. And we're going to make another parallel one out of that material I'm cutting for the caliper spacer. So one at six one at 41 which I'll double check and then use that as a pattern make one of them <sighs> then the wheel should sit where we need it we still not got a, a spindle though and see if we can get one rather than make one I think that's the uh, most cost effective route to go there right oh so I'm gonna make the uh, the simple straight ones first and then we'll get on and do the more complicated prettier one after. So we start off by facing that off, like so, and then we touch off, and we only need to get this a clean up, we want 35mm diameter I believe, so just check I'm doing right, have a little bit of a clean up, and then we'll have a measure and see where we're at. Sorry, I stand corrected. We're out a bit too big. Got my measurement, my diameter wrong. We're at half a mil too big, so we can take a clean up, get that down to 34 mil, like so. I'll take that down to the truck, although this first bit's only going to be about 6 mil long. And now we can take the centre out to 3 quarters. Let's just need that. Ooh. Focus. Come on, there you go. So, Work that in, and then we'll run a pilot drill in. A bit of anchor lube because that's what all the culprits are using. And we'll send that in. We need six mil plus the tool is nine mil plus a bit to play with. So if I go, that's ten mil. Say 16, 18, 18 mils of plan And in with the 19, slowed it down a little bit. Bit of the old, yeah. I don't get this. <laughs> it's everyone's using it. It's like a massive uh, vol self volunteered promo on Ankaloo. Everyone's doing it. Anyway, we'll have that out in short order, look. I think we're there, I think we're going beyond the pilot, yeah, happy days. So, we'll get the tool out of the way, break that edge, break that edge, and now look at passing it off. Rightio there, so, just touch on there, and this first one wants to be six, so we'll move it along nine, wait, too far rapper, way too far. 9.25, we we'll leave 0.25, quarter of a mil, tenth hour over. I'll just lock off. Hold on. I'll just lock off my saddle. Lock my saddle, turn my feed and speed round. And away she blows, Captain. Tell me the old lube as we go. Ain't it? And that's gonna disappear shortly, so oi, no. Right, so that's one down, one to go. There's just enough cleaned off. By accident, I accidentally machined the OD down just to what we need. And now we just need 31, this is. So I'm going to go about 35, 36 deep and then open it out to 19 mil. Right, oh, and in with it. Hold on. Just lube it up. Can't be to be a lube. Hey boys. And then with the 19. Nice and steady away. 
Right oh, quick face up. Like so. That's it, guys. Give that a nice edge. Give that a nice edge. And then we're ready to pass it off. And away we go. Hold on. With parting the second one off. So a quick part off of this. Went that long. Fucking cheat and fucking yeah, there you go. Have that. Thank you very much. Okay, so next up, flip it around. Just touch on the face. And go ten down, which is there. Oh, too far around back, back a bit. Come on. Come on. There. And send it. And that'll clean that all lovely for us. And we'll break the edges. Uh, try and mount the six mil one in the three draw, which is going to be interesting. Might even go over to the mini lathe for that. Get that out of the way. Might. Break that edge. Give this edge a nice shape. Like so. And Bob's your answer. Right oh, so to true to true this up look, I'm going in with a roller doller, which is a very, very welcome and kind viewer gift. So we just run that up until that stops wobbling. Shut it off, fuck that off, and then nip it up on that. I'll run true enough, I could probably get a bit better than that to be fair. But it'll certainly run true enough that I can dress it up though. Just be careful of the fucking chuck spinning there like. 750 RPM. Happy days. Don't forget folks, our fuck stock stickers are now available in our Etsy store, link in the description below. Fuck stock, you know it makes sense. Okay, so I fluff recording this quick clean up that gets us to 58 mil. No, sorry, 59 mil, which is what we're gonna call that in there. Oh, I'm telling you wrong though. I proper fluffed it. 54, we'll call it 55, so you can see some it's one of them days, isn't it? We want 55, so we'll take a mil off at a time because we've got so much. A mil cut, 40 thou cut, and we'll turn and have that down to uh, 55 mil. Two cuts like this, and we'll be there. Like, so them chips are off. The way she goes, Captain. Come on, baby. And. 54 is there. Happy days. You know, I meant to say 55 is there. I had to double check then and then I shit myself. So I fucking, although it won't matter because most of this is going bye bye. But like I say, it's been one of them days so far. A bit fucking ow, scattered. We're a bit scattered to say the least. 33 mil long. Cheers and thanks for coming. So now we need to machine this down to 31.8 uh, for a, a length from the end of 31.8 by 21 we'll call it 31.8 by 21 so I'll do most of that off camera to be fair like right? because that's going to be fucking shitty so it's just a 32 two minute at a time again <coughs> Down to a depth of 21. <coughs> Excuse me, and we'll keep working up to the shoulder once I've made it. That'll be fine. So we'll set this down to 21. Come on, baby. 19, 20, 20.9 is there. And then take another 2 mil off. Wash, rinse, repeat.
Oh, I know, a nice little stem. <coughs> Just to take it down to size. Stay at 1.7. Coming up any minute now. Come on, 21 there. There we go. Slight undercut in the corner. Happy day. Right. We'll break that edge. Now we need to take this down. This one's quite important because it fits in the wheel bearing, and that's 25 on the money. Slightly under 25. If I want to get to spin it up after. I might have to make a mandrel for that. Mm. Chuntering on mouth, chuntering on. 24.9 should get us where we need to be for a length of approximately 17.5. So much more of the same, I'm afraid. We're going from 31.7 down to 25 or 24.9, and we're going. 17 and a half deep, so give ourselves a mark again. We'll go 29.9, and we'll go along 17 and a half block. This bit goes through the bearing, like I say, so we want plenty of this. The other bit's a little shoulder that stops against the edge of the bearing. So that's like that. And we'll take it down 27.9. You know the drill. Down to 24.9. And I'll join you near the end. And here we go 24.9. Yeah, let's fuck it into swearing. That'll be happy days. Take that down 17 and a half. Like that. Have that off. Break those edges if I oh, can't get into that one. Get my little file in. Break that edge. And there we go. Right out, so I'm gonna now take it out to say 19 mil, three quarters is the drill bit that we're using. So we start off with a centre drill. Going with the pilot drill down to about 34, 35. So we'll get that worked in. Plenty of the good old ankle loop. And now in with the three quarter until we're at bottom. Who are we, Mrs? Happy days. Right, oh, so let's get this shit out of the way. And uh, got a good old bevel on there, look. And now, I don't think my parting tool is long enough, sticks out long enough to part this off. And I don't really want loads hanging out. I think the alley will grab it and it will gum up. So I might cut that off with a saw. Mine. Right, fragmented video number 10. You won't believe. I've had callers and visitors and all sorts of uh, things. So I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is part it off as far as I'm happy doing and then maybe finish it off with a saw like. I've slowed the old lathe down. Because it... It's a good diameter. And we'll try and keep the an anchor lube flowing like, ain't it? I don't think it'll go all the way, but it might do. We'll see what happens. Do you know what? I reckon it will go all the way. We've got to be about there now, so. Come on, you beauty. Let's just take that. Oh, we should be there by now. Maybe I didn't drill it deep enough. Oh, I did. Just about, look. Not quite broke through. Happy days. Right, oh, so that's chucked up. Sped up. And let's get it cleaned up and then we need to profile it. So I need to face this off to length. So we'll just do that. Then we'll have a measure. And I think it needs to be however thick that is 11.88, 11.89, 12mm so at the minute it's 11.8 that was lucky wasn't it 
I don't do it for Stanley fucking Tyrion, uh, 7.8, fucking hell, look at there you go, happy days. So, what we now need to do is just profile this end. Um, we're going to turn a little section down to whatever that is, 42, 43 mil. And then we'll go in with the profiling tool to break that shape, to give it the shape on the doodah line. Alright, here we go then. So, we just want a bit of a cut. Down to 42. Excuse me. This is all going to go bye bye, pretty much. So, giving ourselves a guy, we're just roughing out the shape, and then we'll go in with the profiling tool. Ain't it? And that, the one that I'm copying is really fucking slim on the fat diameter. I'm going to leave this one a bit beefier, I'm going to stop short about air, I reckon. So, I'll swap over tools and we'll get that trimmed up. Right, oh, I know. You can't see because you're in the way, but we'll be beat. I'm just going to edge this in to there. Get rid of that ribbon. And then into there. A little bit more, please. Oh, happy days. That'll do for me. I'll dress these edges like so. And call that, ooh, steady on, call that smacking the fucking uh, file on the way out. Break that edge, I need to double check that I'm clear on that hole, but I'll do it off camera. And there we have it. There's the original. There's the one I've made, a bit thicker on there, because that's fucking proper. Mm, maybe take a bit more off, I might jig it back up and take a bit more off, but I probably won't. I prefer it chunker. Uh, so now we can have one of these with uh, the caliper and the external spacer and those two together uh, on the other side. Happy days. And here we have it, look. So the caliper is happily centred on the disc with a new spacer in there. This is now taken care of in a safe and sensible uh, and not bad looking way, if I say so myself. And we've got the spacer there. Still don't have a spindle, so we've got a bit of EN24 through it. There you go. That's that. Ten minutes this morning has, has took me <laughs> appreciatively longer. And there we go. There's the first look of it. Sat on its wheels, bless it. Uh, there's no full headset bearings in, and these shock amounts are subject to change, but I think overall... See, it's nice, does that? Them rails are a bit long, depending on my guard, in my opinion, at the minute. But, yeah, I'm well pleased with that. So, there it is, on its wheels, with core talk. Happy days. So, there you go. It's just all shaky, shaky camera, camera, mouthy, glary, glary. So, there you go. That's that. On its wheels, back wheel spacers made, bearing adapters made everyone's a winner it just leaves me as always to say thanks for watching if you like what you see give me a thumbs up and a sub check out all the books in the description below and i'll catch you on the next one big love everyone see you soon